there. I'm Ribbit Rabbit, and these are my friends. Hello! I'm Squeaky Squirrel. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Kevin Cat. Whoops! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm Dilly Duck. Now let's learn English together, and we'll all be superstars. Yay! Yay! Prepositions. It was a boring day for Squeaky. She stayed at home and no one mentioned to her about her birthday. Her friends did not call to greet her as they usually do. Squeaky <laughs> was getting depressed. It was evening and the sun was setting slowly. Suddenly the doorbell rang. Squeaky opened the door. Hey. And there they were in front of her. Her good friends, Ribby, Dilly, and Kevin. They greeted her with... Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Squeaky! Squeaky, Squeaky was so oh. surprised. They brought along with them Yippee. a big cake, sweets, and presents. They arranged the food on the table. The cake was placed in the middle. The sweets were beside the cake on the right. The presents were placed next to the cake on the left. The drinks were between the sweets and the plates. Squeaky was so happy. They sang happy birthday and she cut the cake. They all had a good time. Squeaky thanked her friends for giving her a beautiful birthday party. Now she knows that good friends are like jewels. They will never let her down. It's grammar time! Oh, oh I'm so full! The cake was so delicious! Now I just want to lie here on the couch and do nothing. You've just used the preposition on. Uh, my position on the couch? Oh, Ribby, she's talking about prepositions. Prepositions are words that can indicate direction, location, or time. They include words like behind, on, over, in, and under. For example, Kairul is standing behind Rajan. The flowers are on the table. The horse jumps over the fence. The book is in the bag. The cat is sleeping under the chair. Let's look at some examples of prepositions from our story. Her friends were standing in front of her. The cake was placed in the middle. The sweets were beside the cake on the right. The presents were placed next to the cake on the left. The drinks were between the sweets and the plates. Now you know what prepositions are, Ribby. Ribby! Did. The egg cooked very nicely. 
Next to her, Kevin sprawled on the green grass. He had heard the story many, many times. Opposite her, Ribby pulled a blade of grass from the rocky ground, stuck it between his teeth, and started chewing. Oops, the grass tasted horrible, and he spat it out. Did you enjoy the story? Let's look for prepositions used in the story. Grandma sat down between two mango trees. She had a paper fan in her apron pocket. She had actually fried an egg on the sidewalk. Next to her, Kevin sprawled on the green grass. Opposite her, Ribby pulled a blade of grass from the rocky ground. Isn't it wonderful how we can use prepositions to show the position and location of things around us? Please put your hands together for the words of the day. Evening. Evening. The sun sets in the evening. Greeted. Greeted. They greeted each other happily. Presents. Presents. Squicky received many presents from her friends. Arranged. Arranged. They arranged the food on the table. Surprised. Surprised. Squicky was surprised to see her friends. Spelling and pronunciation. Let's spell and say the following words. F A N N I N G. Fanning. F A N N I N G Fanny F R I E D Fried F R I E D Fried S I D W A L K Sidewalk S I D E W A L K Sidewalk S P R A W L E D Sprawl S P R A W L E D Sprawled R O C K Y Rocky R O C K Y Rocky Let's make sentences using on, in, under, between, and beside. Use the pictures to help you. Can you make a sentence? The ball is under the chair. Great job! How about this? The cat is lying on the sofa. Well done! Now, where are the books? The books are in the bag. Wonderful! Now, what's happening here? 
The boy is standing beside the staircase. That's right. Wow, these look delicious. What can you say about the mango? The mango is between the apple and papaya. Fantastic! We learned a lot of things today. I'm glad we did. I learned that I have friends who care. We learned about prepositions. A few new words. And how to spell and pronounce some of the words from our story. Great. That was indeed fun. English is fun. Until next time, have fun!